Hi, I want to tell you about a book called Prairie Lotus by Linda Sue Park. I'm a media specialist in an elementary school. Now this book has connections to me because I adored Little House on the Prairie books when I was in second and third grade. And Linda Sue Park did too. In fact, she imagined herself being a character in the books. Nowadays, we look at Little House in the Prairie books and we think, hmm, we could have done better. There's a lot of racism in regards to Native Americans in that story. And that isn't right. Linda Sue Park decided to retell the story in her own character named Hannah. Hannah is part Chinese and part um, white. She's also part Korean, and that is what Linda Sue Park is. So she's, interestingly enough, putting her own self into this story through Hannah. Hannah and her father have lost their mother. Her, the mother has um, died in California, and so they take a covered wagon, and they make it to South Dakota into a small town where they decide that they could use a dress shop, and that was what their plans were, to find a place to open a dress shop. Hannah will be the um, sewing, and her father will be selling. One of the things that Hannah also wants to do is she wants to get um, her finish her education, and so she gets to go to school. Unfortunately, at this school, they treat her terribly. They, the parents stop sending their kids to school. They make fun of her. And she um, faces a lot of racism just because she is part Chinese. They have to deal with that. She is um, a strong character though. And she figures out who her friends are and gets them on her side. I love this book because it was fun to read about prairie life, frontier life. I loved the spirit of Hannah. She is a go-getter, but yet she's still a kid and you really root for her through the whole thing. She also makes friends with some of the Native Americans in the area and you know, is questioning why people treat them so terribly as well. There's a lot of rules that have been put in place to keep them on their reservations and yet she learns that this was all their land that was taken away from them. Prairie Lotus is a really great story. It's a good addition to our frontier life books. In fact, we don't have very many of them anymore. And so I just thank Linda Sue Park for writing Prairie Lotus. I think everyone that reads this will really enjoy it. And I hope that families pick it up and read it with their children. Teachers read it with their students. Linda Sue Park, Prairie Lotus.